Hey guys, welcome. This is our review video for um, our tests. These questions come straight from the test, so let's go ahead and get started. Alright, uh, first thing, we want to make sure all these are fractions, because we're going to get rid of the fractions. We've got 4, 8, 2, 1. What number will they all fit into? You might say 2, but 8 won't fit into 2. So we've got to come up with actual numbers that are going to fit into them. Uh, the only number we know is 8. They'll all fit into 8. Okay, so I do 8 times this, the 4 and the 8, that reduces to this becomes 2, so it's 2 times 2, which is 4x. Uh, 8 gets reduced right away, so I just get plus 5 equals, 8 gets reduced to 4 in this one, okay, right here. And uh, that's going to become uh, 4 times 3, which is 12x. And then we get negative 1 times 8, which is just negative 8. I'm going to go ahead and move the 4x that's smaller over towards the 12. This will cancel out, and this is going to become uh, 8x. Go ahead and add 8. Whoops, sorry. Let's do that in one in separate steps. So we get negative 8 equals 5. We'll go ahead and add 8 over to the other side. We add 8 to 5. I'm going to end up with 13 equals 8x, and then we divide by 8, and we get x equals 13 over 8. We can't reduce that, so we leave it, okay? All these problems you should try first by yourself, and then watch me solve them. That would be the best way to get the most out of this video. All right, here's a proportion, a problem that we need to solve by what we call the butterfly method, if you will. So these are going to cross multiply, and these are going to cross multiply. So I essentially end up with 4x plus 1 equals 6, 2x plus 1. Okay, from here we got to distribute the 4 and then distribute the 6. So I'm going to end up with 4x plus 4 equals, that's 12x plus 6. We're going to move everything to the same side. So move the variable, I'm sorry, to the same side so we get negative 4x. I don't know why I'm doing this crooked here, uh, but that will cancel. We'll restart up on the top. And we're going to get 4 equals 12 minus 4 is going to give me 8x plus 6. We'll go ahead and subtract 6 from both sides. Doing sad map. We get negative 2 equals 8x divided by 8. I've seen a lot of students at this point write negative 4 is their answer. We can't do that because 8 is dividing into negative 2. So our answer should be negative 2 over 8. Or we could reduce that and become negative 1 fourth. Okay. This would be the better answer on the bottom. All right, next. Go ahead and make sure you try this one by yourself first. But here we go. You can pause the video and try it. 2x minus 2. By the way, this is an and problem. Okay, but to do this, we're going to add 2 to both sides. And we're going to get 8 less than 2x, which is less than or equal to 22. Divide by 2 on every side. And we get 4 less than x, which is less than or equal to 11. We can graph this pretty simply by putting 4 down and 11 right underneath where I see it. I have a closed circle on this one because I have a bar. I have an open circle on this one. It's an and problem, so we're going to graph right in between. And there's our answer. The graph and the work. Two more. These are the hardest ones, I think. It's the absolute value ones. We need the most practice with it. The first goal is to try and get the absolute value box by itself right here. To do that, we're going to add 8 over here. And we get 2x minus 4 in absolute values is greater than 8. I said great or. So by saying great or, we're going to do an or problem. So to write this out, I like to do case 1 and case 2. Case 1, we're going to write the exact same thing we see, but without the absolute value bars. Looks the same, right? 2x minus 4 is greater than 8. Case 2, we're going to write the same 2x minus 4, but this time we're going to flip the inequality and put in negative 8. Now we've got to solve both. First we solve by adding 4. 
This is where we're going to get a difference, though. Adding 4 to 8 is going to give me 12, versus adding 4 to a negative 8 gives me a negative 4. Next, we want to divide both sides by 2. Since I'm dividing by a positive 2, it's not going to change my inequality sign. So over here, I'm going to get x is greater than 6, or x is less than negative 2. And there's my final answer. So go ahead and graph this. What we're going to want to do, we know ors go out, so we're going to get negative 2 over here and 6 over here. 6 is open and so is negative 2. 6 is, or x is less than negative 2 but greater than 6. So they will never overlap on an or prompt. If they do, you probably made a mistake. Our last one. Here's the absolute value equation. First thing we're going to do is we got to add the 2. Again, we're trying to get the absolute value box by itself. In order to do that, uh, what I need to do is uh, go ahead and, and deal with this. Ooh, these numbers didn't work out. Let's make this a 10. Let's change that. So this is a 12. That will work out nicer. Then we can divide by 3 into 12, and that works a lot better. So absolute value of x minus 2 equals 3 goes into 12. So sorry about that. Let's just redo that part. Okay, so let's make this uh, 10, and then we can add 2 to it, and we'll get 12. There we go. Then divide 3 into 12, and we should get 4. There we are. So absolute value of x minus 2 equals 4. Let's start that on the next page. All right, x minus 2 equals 4. This is possible. we got to break it down to case 1 and case 2. We write the exact same thing. And then we write the same thing. We don't have to flip an inequality here, so we just make a negative x, or a negative 4. All right, this is a nice one-step equation. We're just going to add 2 to both sides. That's the inverse operation that makes that go to 0. Then we get x equals 6, or x equals negative 2. Now, I wrote the word or, but this isn't really an and or question. It's just we have two answers. Okay, we're going to only use one at a time. You can't use both. So there you go. That is your review video all set.